Good day. So the problem which I'm having with the Nikon ZR screen is that the exposure on the screen doesn't match the exposure on the waveform. Let me demonstrate. When exposing the scene with the screen only, the exposure looks good with these settings. However, when I open the waveform or histogram, I can see that I'm underexposed by at least two stops. When I adjust my settings to set the exposure according to the histogram or waveform, which I usually do, uh, my screen becomes way overexposed, preventing me from seeing all the details in the scene. Mind you, this is with the LUT provided by Nikon and RED. The solution to this is using negative uh, exposure LUT for your screen. I have two of these on my camera right now. One is minus one stop and the other is minus two stops. After applying the minus two monitoring LUT, the screen exposure is closer to what the histogram is showing. Although maybe in this case minus three LUT would be even better. Let me show you how to make such monitoring LUTs by yourself or you can download the ones I made. Um, you can download them from my website. I will link it below. Okay, let me show you how to make negative exposure LUT in DaVinci Resolve. So choose a clip like this one here, then add one node. Choose one of the LUTs provided by RED. I'll choose the base one. Go to the first node. Make sure that the row options are not turned on. Leave it on project. Then go to HDR. Global will. Type. How many stops do you want to go under? I already have minus one and minus two, so I'll make minus three LUT. This will give me minus three stops of exposure. Okay. Then right click on your clip, generate LUT. 33 point cube and save it to your Nikon ZR card. You have to save it to the Nikon folder to LUTs folder. If there is no LUTs folder in your Nikon folder, just you have to make it. Just make sure that it's with the S, LUTs. It has to be LUTs. Otherwise, the camera won't be able to read it. Rename your LUT. Minus three. And save. All right. Now take the card out put it into your camera and upload your LUT. After inserting the card back to the camera, go to your main menu, go to pencil menu, then video and 3D LUT. Here, Go to import cube file and choose the LUT which you haven't installed yet. In my case, this is the minus three red LUT. Okay. Save as and it's done. Now let's go to select LUT. 
and let's choose minus three. All right, that's it. It's all done. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe for more Nikon ZR related videos. See you next time.